Hello everyone, welcome to English for competitive exams and also academic exams. So this is the first class. The first topic which I am going to start is here, parts of the speech. Very important topic, you cannot escape this topic. Parts of the speech, why do we, why do we learn? The main English is based on the parts of the speech. According to the work, whatever work we do, so that is based on the parts of the speech only. So that is why very important. Anyway, today's class, I am going to cover only the basics of parts of speech. I will give you introduction of all the parts of the speech. In depth, we are not going. In depth, next class onwards, I will be focusing. Now, you know that the parts of the speech has total 8 are there. Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. These are the 8 parts of the speech, right? So, now today I am giving introduction of this 8 parts of the speech. The first one suppose say noun, there are different types of noun that we will see it in the next class in depth. Each and every topic I am going to take in depth and also I am going to give you for each and every topic, every class you will have some exercises and also quiz. You have to attempt all these things. In the same way if you see the pronoun, pronoun also there are different types of pronouns are there. Adjective, verb, different types of verb forms and verbs and uh, each and every topic we are going in depth. But anyway, today's class will be only the introduction of the parts of the speech. We will see each and every part of parts of the speech. So, in slides wise and also I will give you examples and a few exercises also you, also you are going to find. Are you ready? Let us get into the topic. In parts of the speech, first one is here noun. What is noun? A noun is a word used as the name of a person, place or thing. Remember this, name of any person, place or anything. Now, now here I am giving you few examples like Albert Einstein, King Ashoka, Kutub Minar, Char Minar, Ramoji Film City, Disneyland, Dog, Shoe etc. Here, if you see Albert Einstein, King Ashoka, name of persons, okay. Kutub Minar, Char Minar, Ramoji Film City, Disneyland, these are the places. Dog is an animal and a shoe, it is a thing. So, all these things we call it as a noun. Noun is having a vast meaning. If you see it in vast meaning, thing, thing we are saying, what is that thing means? In two ways we can define. The first thing is that see, hear, touch, smell. We can see something, we can hear, we can touch, we can smell. This is also noun, which is visible. And second way noun is here, freedom, love, courage, etc. Which we cannot see, only we can feel it and uh, we will, will come to know. These things also will say it as noun. Examples of noun. First one, the sun shines bright. Here what is noun? Sun. Sun is here, noun. Second one, his courage won him the honor. His courage. Courage is here, noun. Though it is not a person or place, but it is thing. Second uh, second category of thing, okay. So, his courage won him the honor. Courage is the noun. Now, the third one you see carefully, Charminar is in Hyderabad. Charminar is noun, Hyderabad is also noun. In this sentence, you have, we are finding two nouns. So, am I clear about the noun? No. Second parts of the speech, pronoun. What is pronoun? A pronoun is a word used instead of noun. Uh, rather than using the name of a person, we can say like uh, he, she, it. So, these are all pronouns. Example, John is absent because John is ill. Here, we are using John two times. John is absent because John is ill. So, rather than saying that John is ill, second time we can use he. He will be a pronoun. Now, the sentence is here. John is absent because he is ill. He is ill. He is here pronoun. In the same way, the books are where you left the books. The books are where you left the books. So, here books coming twice. Rather than the second time, what we can take? The books are where you left them. Them is here 
pronoun. Okay. Now you can try this sentence. One sentence is given to you. Raju is not well. Raju is on leave today. So rather than Raju second time, what you can use? That word, that word will be pronoun. So just try it and write it in the comment box. Now third part of the speech is here. Adjective. What is adjective? An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of noun. Noun will be there. What, what is the meaning of that noun? Why we are using that noun? So that uh, exact thing is we are using it as adjective. Example through example you will get a clarity. First one is here. Kolkata is a big city. Kolkata is here noun. What is this? It is a city but big city. Big Big city. Big is here. Adjective. The same is second one. He is an honest man. He. He is an honest man. He is a good man. Honest man. So that honest word saying that it is adjective. Speciality of that person. Particular person. Honest. It is an adjective. In the same way. He has six fingers. Generally we will have five fingers. But he has six fingers. Six is adjective. Okay. And uh, try this, try this too. First one is here. Sita is a good girl. The sky is blue. In these two sentences, what is adjective? Identify and write it in the comment box. Adjective is this. Anyway, the answers will be given in the description box of the same video. You can check it out. And uh, you can write your score also in the comment box. Now coming to the fourth parts of the speech is verb. Very important part of the parts of the speech. Verb means you know that any action. A verb is a word used to say something about a noun or something about a action. Remember verbs are two types of verbs. Main verbs, helping verbs. Main verbs means action verbs we can say. Like singing, dancing and eating, reading. All these things are main verbs. Main verbs... First, we will focus on main verbs. Main verbs are four, four forms. V1, V2, V3, V4. V1 is present form. V2 is past form. V3 is past participle. V4 is present participle. Okay. Now, in the next slide, we are going to discuss about main verbs. Now, second one is here, helping verbs. Helping verbs are not exactly the action verbs, but it is going to help to the main verb. In helping verbs, we can uh, uh, categorize into three forms. One is present helping verb, past helping verb and future helping verb. Present helping verb means we will use am, is, are, has, have, has been, uh, have been, do, does, can, shall, must, etc. All these things are present helping verbs. In the same way, past helping verbs are was, were, did, had, had been, could, could have been, could have. Okay. And in the same way, future helping verbs are will, shall, will have, shall have. Am I clear about main verbs, helping verbs? Very important. You must remember. Now in the next slide, we will see V1, V2, V3, V4. Okay. So verb forms. For example, if I am taking speak, speak. Uh, forms of this speak is speak, spoke, spoken, speaking. Okay. In the same way, eat, eat, ate, eat and eating. Play, play, played, played, playing. Drink, drink, drank, drank, drinking. Sing, sing, sang, sung, singing. So like verb forms, at least two to three hundred you have to learn. Hundred verb forms, already I have prepared one video. I will give you that link in the description box and uh, if possible in the uh, comment box also check it out or you can directly type Devika Bhatnagar verb forms, 100 verb forms, you can get that video. You must learn these verb forms just like tables, 2 to the 4 in that way you have learned in school life. Now in the same way you have to speak very fastly and you have to buy at it. Just say with me so that you will get a practice. Uh, speak, spoke, spoken, speaking. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Play, played, played, playing. Drink, drank, drunk, drinking. Sing, sang, sung, singing. So like this you have to buy hat. Okay. 
Next, adverb, fifth one. What is adverb? Adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of verb, an adjective or another verb. So, you will get a clarity through an example. See here, he solved the sum quickly. He solved the sum okay. But how he has solved quickly? Okay. Solved is a verb. To that verb, we are saying how he has done, quickly he has done. So, that is adverb. Quickly is an adverb. Second one, the mango is very sweet. Mango is sweet, okay. But very sweet, we are saying. That is adverb. Okay. Try these two sentences and identify what is adverb. He ate the chocolate cake greedily. Second one, she read the letter carefully. Identify the adverb and write it in the comment box. Now, sixth one, preposition. Very important preposition in English language. What is preposition means? Preposition is a word used to exhibit the relation between a noun or a pronoun and every other phrase in a sentence. Okay? Now, what are the prepositions? There are many prepositions. Uh, for example, I have given few. In, at, under, over, uh, on, above, with, from, for. All these things are prepositions. There are many more prepositions. For example, I have given you. Now, let's see a few sentences. The first one is that the cow is in the field. Here we know that cow is where it is the, where is the cow? It is in the field. In the field. So in is specifying that cow is at particular place. Where it is, it is in the field. In. So the relation between the cow and field is saying by in. In is a preposition. In the same way, second one, the tea is on the dining table. Here main two things are tea and table. Where is the tea? It is on the table. So, that is clearly mentioning preposition. What is the preposition we have used? On. The T is on the dining table. On is here preposition. Try these two sentences. She was hiding under the table. Second one. She lost her ring at the beach. Out of these two sentences, what are the prepositions? Identify and write it in the comment box. Okay. Now, let's go for the sixth, seventh one, conjunction. Conjunction, N is here silent, second N is silent. We don't say, we don't pronounce it like conjunction, okay, conjunction. What is conjunction? A conjunction is a word used to join words, phrases or clauses. Through an example, you will get a clarity. Ramu and Somu are best friends. Ramu, Somu, separate nouns, okay. So, this two are adding by and. Ramu and Somu are best friends. Now, here conjunction is here and. In the same way, second one, see. He worked hard, but he got second rank. He worked hard. That's one, one stage. But he got second rank. This is second stage. Both the ways it is connecting. He worked hard, but... He got second rank. But is here conjunction. Okay. Now last one is here interjunction. Interjunction is a word. It is generally expressed some of the sudden feelings. Uh, like any kind of surprise, shocking and uh, uh, sorrow. Okay. Any such kind of feelings generally we express that kind of expressions. We say it as an interjection. Examples. Hooray. We won the cricket match. Hooray means happily we are saying hooray, yeah, we won the match. So that hooray, a feeling is that happy feeling. Okay, so that is interjection. Second one is here, alas, I lost my cell phone. Alas means with a sorrow. Oh, oh my God, I lost it. Alas, alas is the interjection. Hooray, alas, these two are interjections. Am I clear about the parts of the speech? This class, at least two times or three times, watch it, write it in notes, clear notes and keep the concept. These are the basics, basic fundamentals of English grammar. You must have a good clarity. Please write it in the notes and learn it. Exercises, few exercises I have given. Please try it and write it in the comment box. 
in the coming classes if you are interested definitely i am going to conduct few tests related to the competitive exams what kind of questions you can expect in competitive exams related to the parts of the speech this i am going to cover so that it will be easy for you to write it even academic exams or any competitive exams and it is must to know the english language stay connected practice well see you in the next class good luck